What is the deal? It's like I have an aura around me. Can I block it? There we go. Well, that's not going to work. Something like that. I don't know. Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Tastes Good Barbecue. What I have for you today is I'm going to be doing up some semi-homemade pizzas. Quarter? Quarter-ish homemade pizzas? I'm going to be doing up pizzas on my Yoder's Y640 pellet cooker. Enjoy. Alright, can't make this stuff up. So I was just getting ready to get these things going. Power goes out. Heard a big transformer blow. So that hum in the background is how we're cooking tonight. Thought about doing it a little different. Thought maybe I'll fire up the barrel house or the uh, Weber kettle. But we're just going to roll. So we have these pre-made pizza doughs here. It kind of sucked too because the Smoker was just up to temp, just ready to roll. So, oh yeah, so we're reheating that up as we shoot pizza sauce all over the place. So while I'm putting this on, I'm just trying not to get it right on the edges there, leave a little bit of a barrier. Right, there's two. So we're doing a red sauce on three of these guys. And then a white sauce on the one that I'm going to do. So with that hum of the generator in the background, we'll probably fast forward through a lot of this stuff. But hey, the show must go on. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to roll through because this is going to be a classic. The power outage version. So I just got some Alfredo sauce here for my white sauce. Getting quarantine problems. That does work good. I was actually, when I was looking around, we've had these for a while. I really, when I normally do these, I just use pita bread. But pita bread works. This is probably an upgrade over pita bread. I do say so myself. Alright, let's build. So they all get mozzarella. A lot. Okay, we might be able to pull this off before dark. We'll see. There's more mozzarella. Just trying to cover all the sauce. Get on the mozzarella to me when I'm making pizza. The more the more. Spread those around. Alright. Those look pretty decent. So on the one here, we're doing just a uh, Canadian bacon and pineapple. Eh? Shout out to all my Canadian friends. I am bilingual. I speak American English and Canadian English. I know A, Gradge, a boot. You know, staples. They're pretty good. We're going a little Hawaiian style. One ham and pineapple. 
trying to put these down everywhere potentially get a bite what do you think? not bad alright let's go next we've got a couple I guess we'll call them meat lovers put down some salami and pepperoni there's some skills right there going lefty on you Don't tell me I nailed it perfect. Look at that. Alright, that's some pep. Definitely didn't nail this perfect. Oh, well, maybe. Definitely did not. Always something. Always something. Just gonna keep rolling, man. Again, normal dude in the backyard grilling stuff. That's how I roll. Alright, so then this next one. So, with the white sauce here, I have the Mott's. I have up a uh, some Dungeness crab. Chopped it up, and I put it in a. Uh, what would I call that? A garlic lemon butter. That one's mine. I love crab. Something like so. Last but not least, the finishing touch. Gonna pop some Parmesan cheese on the top. Just a little sprinkle. All right, let's put these bad boys on the smoker. All right, here we go. Gonna hit them with some uh, spray oil, just on the top there. Hopefully, it doesn't stick too much. So the plan is, once I get these guys on, I'm just going for four minutes. And then we're gonna check and rotate. I'm thinking this is probably gonna be about a ten-minute cook, but we'll see. So I just want to rotate them. I have open flame right there. Could go down the bottom. I really don't want to. So we'll be back in four minutes. All right, changed my mind a little bit like I normally do. So I'm gonna check them. It's only been three minutes. So we're gonna do a little rotation here. I think if I cook it 12 minutes, 3 minute rotation should be perfect. Alright, so we're approaching the 6 minute mark. Another rotation. We'll do a little. We're getting there. Yeah, about 6 more minutes. Come on, baby. Alright, we are done. Should be done. We're 12 minutes in. It's my crab pizza. Dungeons crab. Have the Hawaiian. Feel the firmness of the bottom. Little meat lovers there. Pep and sausage. And the other meat lovers there. So something I didn't mention, I was cooking at 450. Again, I heat deflector plate is out. Um, so I was cooking. Is this a wood-fired pizza? No. Am I using wood? Yes. Pellets. Do I have fire? Yes. I wouldn't call it a wood-fired pizza. But we're going to come back and I'm going to tell you what I think about it. All right, as the hum of the generators just ring around the neighborhood, Take a look. 
So let's see if I can get you, well, let's get you this shot first if I can. This is my Dungeness Crab Pizza. Check out the crust. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Say goodbye. My mozzarella just dripping off it. Ooh, baby. Mm hmm. It's going to be a messy one. Mmm. That Alfredo really complements the, uh, the Dungeness Crab. A little white sauce for you. Whatever you want. Hey, this is mine. Did up some other ones. Um, but give Dungeness Pizza a try on your Yoder's by a 640 pellet cooker. Hey, I'll see you next time. If you like the video, hit like. I'll put another uh, Yoder video right there. Over here, I will put a little uh, subscribe icon. Hey, right. stay safe. Hopefully you guys got power. Because the doctor doesn't. Next time.